Warren Buffett, the esteemed CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, is not only known for his remarkable wealth, estimated at $136 billion, but also for his simple living standards and significant philanthropic efforts. Despite being one of the world's richest individuals, Buffett maintains a lifestyle that contradicts his immense wealth. As per an inside report, Buffett continues to reside in the same Omaha home he purchased in the 1950s and drives vehicles that are far from luxurious. His breakfast often comes from McDonald's, and he is known to have used borrowed furniture when his children were young. His hobbies include playing bridge, golfing, and strumming on one of his 22 ukuleles, a skill he used to charm his first wife, Susan. The bulk of Buffett's wealth is tied to Berkshire Hathaway, a conglomerate that has amassed over $1 trillion in assets. His journey to riches began at an early age, investing in stocks at 11 and filing taxes by 13. Despite his fortune, the majority of his wealth was accumulated after his 50th birthday, with his annual salary from Berkshire Hathaway remaining at $100,000 for the last 40 years, the Insider Report said. Although Buffett has had his share of investment missteps, such as a Sinclair gas station, these have been vastly outweighed by his successes. Known for his frugality, Buffett has made limited splurges over the years, such as on a private jet, which he humorously dubbed the indefensible. His personal life has been marked by two marriages and three children. Buffett's philanthropy is renowned. He pledged to donate 85% of his Berkshire Hathaway shares to five foundations, leading a global initiative with Bill and Melinda Gates called The Giving Pledge, which encourages the world's wealthiest to commit a significant portion of their wealth to charitable causes. Despite his vast wealth, Buffett emphasizes the importance of living a fulfilling life without excessive materialism. He once expressed at a shareholder meeting, there are things money can't buy. My life couldn't be happier. In fact, it'd be worse if I had six or eight houses. So I have everything I need to have, and I don't need any more because it doesn't make a difference after a point.